Tractors have flooded the streets across Europe as farmers continue to protest over a grocery list of complaints, including high production costs. With some protests beginning as early as spring of 2023 in Europe, more tractors in more countries are trading fields for pavement. <laughs> Now in India, protesters are clashing with officials as tens of thousands of farmers try to make their way to New Delhi over a different set of grievances. Security forces are throwing tear gas shells from the other side. Landowners and farmers are sitting here. Some of the people are being moved as they have sustained injuries. People have hurt their eyes, legs, a lot of damage has been caused. As authorities reportedly drop tear gas from drones, detain protesters and cut off internet, farmers unions in India say they don't want to clash with police, but they will not stop until their demands are met. The protest is a resurrection of sorts of protests from 2021, when farmers camped out in New Delhi for more than a year, demanding India's government guarantee minimum crop prices. India's prime minister promised to set up a panel of farmers and officials to ensure guaranteed minimums for all crops. But farmers say the government has failed to follow through. Reuters reports that the country's current support prices system helps only 7 percent of India's farmers. Farmers are also upset that the prime minister's vow in 2016 to double farmers' wages by 2022 never materialized saying that farming has become unprofitable. While the protests will affect farming production, it also could impact the upcoming election. Farmers represent a large influential group of voters as most of India's population lives in the countryside. Still, experts say what farmers in India are asking for, all produce to be bought at state minimum support prices is not viable. Back in Europe, Protests against the European Union's policies to combat climate change, along with the rising cost of farming, and what farmers say is unfair competition from other countries like Ukraine, are expected to continue. In Poland, as a part of a 30-day farmer's strike, farmers are expected to block all border crossings between Poland and Ukraine beginning on Tuesday.